Hi, this is Marcus Timpson at Future in Tech in Cambridge, um, joined by Carl Ziz from Zaikio. Just done a great talk, Carl. So um, we can talk about you know your content and AI in a moment, but um, give us a bit of a feel for um, how things are going with Zaikio generally and the development of the, of the product. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Um, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with Zaikio, um, we've created a data layer for the entire print industry, whereby apps can. Uh, transmit and communicate data without need, the need for uh, an integration between them. Um, so essentially it acts like a platform uh, with lots of apps on there, like a, an iPhone would. Um, so we've spent the last few years creating the platform itself. Um, the platform is now ready and we have the first applications transacting data with one another. Um, most latterly we have Infigo web to print system transferring data into an MIS system which is imprint um, and then transacting that out to uh, Printex or for, for production. Um, so yeah, I mean from concept through to actual physical Product, we're, we're there, we're ready for, we're sort of in, in a, a launch phase at the moment, mm. um, but Drupa really represents for us a dividing line between the developmental phase of our business mm. and the launch phase. Um, so yeah, we're really excited. Really excited. And, and what's that give the sort of printer? Does it give the printer an ability to, to source products more efficiently, uh, price more? Yeah, what are, the, what are the key advantages? So the advantages of um, moving data freely between all of your applications is, number one, you don't need to get your applications all integrated with one another. So there's a mm. massive reduction in mm. the, uh, uh, the, the amount of money that an average printer would spend on uh, integrations. Mm -hmm. um, what that then does is it opens up a whole new world of interoperability of all of the, the mm. client systems. Um, and the, the printer can access that with a single sign-on. Mm. So it makes it a lot simpler to utilize mm. within their business. Mm. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, from, from our perspective, this <laughs> should be a win-win-win for absolutely everybody in the industry. Mm. Um, solutions providers will find it easier to provide their solutions because there isn't the, inter uh, the interoperability headache. Mm. Um, and for the end user, for the printer, it should massively reduce complexity and cost. Mm. So... Obviously exciting, you've got Drupal next year. Your talk centred on AI, and yeah. one of my questions was going to be, what's the next big thing, or what is the big thing really for next year? Tell us a bit about your thinking behind AI, and, and you know, in the print industry, are we adopting yeah. it properly, quickly, slowly? So, um, the print industry is a slow adopter. Um, I think there might be some fear around mm -hmm. AI. Mm -hmm. um, in, in various fields like marketing, for example, mm -hmm. um, I think the fear is that it will replace people's jobs um, in very much the, the same way as in the 1970s, people worried about computers taking their jobs. Mm -hmm. Or in the 1800s when, uh, of course, you know, machines were developed, people worried about the machines taking their jobs. Um, so I think it's very much a misplaced um, fear. Uh, I think there are, of course, things we need to be careful of, um, mm -hmm. but that's probably more on a supranational level and probably needs regulating by government. But certainly the, the print industry, um, my hope is that the print industry will wake up a little bit to AI mm -hmm. and to start utilising that within their businesses, or at least to start looking at how that can positively impact their businesses. Mm. Um, marketing, if we stick on, on, on that particular channel, uh, marketing might not necessarily be the creative uh, um, uh, um, job that, that, that it has been, but it will be creative in a different way. Mm. So prompt engineering will become the new visual art, um, mm. which pleases me greatly because I'm a linguist, so it, it's going mm. back to language actually mm. creating the art rather than a hand as such. Um, so in, in very many terms, there's an opportunity there for marketeers to get involved with prompt engineering. I think that's, that's the biggest opportunity there. So prompt engineering is so you're on an app or you're on a bit of software and it's basically telling you what you need to do next without you having to overly sort of guide yourself. It helps you guide, guide through the whole process. No, what no, is, it, it's in fact it? the complete opposite. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. um, so prompt engineering is, I mean, you could, for the layman, you could say it's a search term. Mm -hmm. So like in Google, you add a search term. With AI, it's a prompt. So you're not necessarily looking for a particular result. You're looking for a series of results. And that's the difference between AI and generative AI. Generative AI will give you a result mm -hmm. not based on the parameter that you've set, but on what it thinks is the parameter ah, you're okay. looking for. Okay. And that's the beauty of prompt engineering mm -hmm. is you, the, the way that you ask a question 
will yield a different answer. result. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's interesting. I've used AI and sometimes it's come back with really weird stuff. Yeah. Uh, Change the wording and it's come back with the right That's stuff. That's absolutely what prompt engineering is. It's uh, just that understanding that language and the language that you use will yeah. influence the result. Which for me as a linguist is absolutely amazing. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. the feature. It's, and like you say, it's trial and error. It's worth trying it out it and is, so on yeah, and so forth. Yeah. So with all this in mind then, was IEK next year, you've got a big, big year with Drupa. Is AI, do you think, at some point going to play a role in your business? AI already is. Mm. Um, my, mm. my encouragement to the industry is that everybody should be looking at AI. Mm. Um, we, as an organization, have already utilized AI to help us with uh, various parts of our business, partly marketing, so there's some sales elements, but we're also looking at that on a technical basis as well, mm. right? Mm. So we're looking at how we can, um, for example, transpose an email into a print job. Mm -hmm. um, without any human interaction. Mm. Now, th that, that's, that's powerful, right? Mm. So this mm. is only uh, the, the first thing that we've looked at. But mm. um, I think, you know, as, as we as an organization develop in, that, uh, in, in the data field as such, then um, the, the large language model, if you like, that is Zykeo, mm. um, can also form the basis of, of an awful lot of information that the AI engines use um, to, to, to give the results specifically for the print industry. Yeah. Um, to the point where we hope it will learn XML. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, 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 amazing. Well, listen, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah. Great talk. No problem. Always fascinating to talk with you and um, energising. Looking forward to um, seeing you and how it comes together at Drupa next mm. year. Well, thank you for having me. Cheers, Carl. Thank you.